Yo, welcome back, Zykor here, and today in Ray Legend, well, I was, I tried to beat the Dreadclaw in the previous episode, and well, it didn't go so well. <laughs> uh, but I guess here, what I'd like to do is get a brush, so I'll just go quick get that from Amelia, and then I can brush my new Draco Newt and new Stubjaw so that maybe I can evolve them into Dreadclaw... Dreadclaw? Yeah, I can evolve my Draco Newt into Dreadclaw. <laughs> sure, yeah. No, a Draco Claw and a Longjaw. And maybe I can take those to the Dreadclaw. The Draco Claw is really good for using against the Dreadclaw. At least it was when my on my first playthrough. So we'll see how that is right now after the after the big patch. So I already did my farm and stuff because I figured, you know, that's not like that's important. Now I'd like to get my Puff leveled and Stubjaw and Draco Newt. This Draco, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with him. But maybe I can try to get him to level 15 and try to get him and evolve him into something. But this one, I'm going to try to get to a Draco Claw because it's already level 13. Just need to brush him and feed him a little bit. Yeah, feed him when he's over full. <laughs> and then the stub jaw is about the same. So, party, party. Now, can't talk to them at all, because I think they removed that. I wish they didn't. I mean, it was convenient to be able to just talk to them over and over and over. And <laughs> Yeah, no, that was actually kind of cheaty. But still, it was nice. I could just get something with five hearts right away. But I assume that was a bug. Why am I in here? Okay, I'm going to head to Amelia's, since these guys don't need feeding. At least they don't look it. Oh, you know what? Never mind. My plan has completely changed. This is the Kyrut Festival. I completely forgot. Last episode I said that's what I was going to do. <laughs> okay, yeah. This will be the Kyrut Festival. And then after that, uh, maybe I'll do some leveling. Yeah. What time is it in the day? 9.50. Okay. Uh, let's see. I'll go grab a Kyrut. Because my, my Kyrots were done a while back. Let's see here. Yeah, my Kyrots are done. I don't have a good quality Kyrot. I only got just regular Kyrots. So my outlook doesn't look too good on this festival. Yep. <laughs> now, I don't really want to carry five of these around on me. So the best way to do this is to drop one the best way to separate them is to drop one and pick it up now you got two of them I got one there and one here so I'll just put those back in my storage bin that's the best way to separate them um, hopefully eventually they'll implement an actual legitimate separation method but right now uh, it doesn't exist <laughs> So, let's see. I'll go talk to... Moku. And see what he says. Then I'll go buy the brush. I think the Cairo Festival is pretty quick. I mean, it's just simply judging and that's it. Okay. Happy to see me here. Did I know it's a special day for farmers? Actually, yes, I did know. Wouldn't even have this amazing festival if not for people like you. Yes, thank you. It's all thanks to me. I'm the only farmer in town, if you didn't notice. <laughs> Remember to cultivate some kairots for the competition? Yes, I actually did. I was given the seeds for free. Why wouldn't I have? Uh, yes, I'm going to participate. So do I just give you my... Oh, I took out my sword. What am I planning to do with that? <laughs> Okay, so be with the here with the Kyrot before 2 p.m. Okay, 
does hope I win this year. So do I, actually. If I lose, don't be discouraged. Yeah, I know. Okay, so... I think I just hold it. To be honest, in my previous playthrough, I missed the Cairo Festival. So, I'm not actually sure how it goes. But, let's see. Just talk to him with it. Seems like everyone's participating. Has arrived. There we go. Okay. Thank you all for coming to our yearly Kyrut Festival competition. We have some good quality Kyruts today. Today's winners are... Third place, Zykor. Okay, so... Third place. Yeah, third place. Only 58 points. Uh, Mia got 99 points in second place. Kyrut Festival champion is Amelia with 123 points. What did she have? A gigantic Kyrut? Well, that's not fair. She's cheating. What is my prize anyway? So, well, I guess it's concluded for now. Yep. Thank you for putting me at third place. <laughs> Obtain fertilizer. Ah, and 2,500 gold. Ooh, 2,500 gold. And that's for getting third place. Oh, I wonder what happens if you get first place. Yeah, I will join next year. Wait. That means Emilia's probably not working. No! <laughs> Let's go check. Is she here? No, she's not here. Let's check her house. Uh, Gunther? Yes, I've been taking good care of my weapons. Head out here. Over here. I probably should be riding my Magnus. Let's see if she's even at home. Aha, Pinecone. Oh, she's here. You gonna bring up your shop? No, she's not selling stuff. Okay, well, I guess I can't use get the brush today. So, let's go out training. Yeah. We'll head around the temple a little bit and train the Draco and Stubjaw. And the teleporter is not open yet for me because I haven't defeated the Dreadclaw. I really do want to defeat the Dreadclaw on foot, though. That would be... <laughs> I think that would be epic if I could do that, but uh, I'm not sure if I can do it. He does a... He really hurts. I'm level 12. Wait, it's already 7, 12 p.m.? What? No, he used all my day. No. The festival used my day. I should have... Ah, I should have come back at 2 p.m. Would have been better. I didn't realize it would advance time like that. Nuts. Well, let's try and get through here. Uh, just head through. All the way. Around. Over the rivers and streams and through the rocks and gather the copper. Where am I going with this? Ah, three copper. What were you shaking your head for? Come on, give me that. Get through here. This is iron ore up here, so that can be useful. Let's see how many levels I can get before I gotta go back. These are actually somewhat good levels in here too, but the Dracos in the Dracos and Stubjaws in the temple are actually higher, I think. Because that's where I got my current Draco, and it's level 13. If I can just get to level 15 on both of these, I can evolve them. Draco Claw takes a Kyrut. That's why I saved my Kyruts. But by I'm going to need a gigantic Kyrut by the next, next year. So I'll have to see what I can do on that. It's actually getting pretty dark. Okay. Oh, 
Wow, these Dracos do- Oh, don't do very much damage. But I guess maybe that's because I don't have any points on it. Hit that. Good. Do I have any points on these? Nah. No, didn't mean to do that. Oh well. I don't have any points on these, do I? No, they don't have any. So I'll just have to wait till they level. But, ah, uh, Draco's almost gonna level. There's a stub jaw usually over here, yep. These both have 400 health. If I can get both of them to level up once, I could go to the, I could just go to the Dreadclaw just to be a dork and check it out. Cause yeah, I could, I could use them as sacrifices. <laughs> yeah, that'd be weird. I could attempt to use them as sacrifices just for me to be able to beat the Dreadclaw on foot, you know? Because it's basically like uh, some other games in the sense that you ride on them, you don't take damage, your Magnus takes damage. So if your Magnus goes down, you still have your own health. Come on, let me th Come on. Wow, are you strong? Well, how did he- No, that's not fair. He healed himself. You know, I've noticed that happening before. I don't know if that's... I don't know if that's a bug or something or not, because that's weird. Magnus can just heal themselves sometimes, I've noticed. It's kind of weird. Oh, I, yeah, I need to get through the Dreadclaw anyway, because I want to get the Rabbit Ray in the story. I know I know there's supposedly a place where you can fish up a rabbit ray. It, uh, you know, just somewhere on Boca Coast, but I don't know where that is exactly. I need to do a bunch of fishing to test. Whoa. Didn't realize my Draco was so damaged. And they're not gonna level very fast. <laughs> they're almost gonna go down. Huh. Can they break these? Oh, good, they can break them. Mushroom. Mushroom, I didn't need a mushroom. But, can I heal? Uh, no, wrong button. That doesn't really heal them. Nah, that didn't really do anything. Huh. Come on. Well, it's 12.21. I don't have enough time, I guess, to go into the Dread Cross, so I guess I'll just battle as much as I can. Train myself, too, while I'm at it. I got my Draco to level 14, though. You know how? Get these items before I can't. No, take too much damage. No, don't want to lose my Dra and Draco. I probably need to get juicy roast meat to heal it. Nah, stop running. There we go. If I can just take this out quick before I faint. Oh no, my Draco! I'm almost gonna faint. <laughs> oh 
Okay, well, <laughs> that's probably about it here. Yep, there we go. <laughs> yeah, lack of stamina, late hours. Okay, well, uh, I guess this was just the Kairot Festival. I didn't really do much. Probably kind of a short episode, but hey, I guess it's not that big of a deal. Next episode, I'll probably try to maybe level a little bit more, or maybe I'll try to just level my Draco in between and get it up to Draco Claw and then evolve it. Uh, evolve it on cam, of course, but... Oh, one thing I did want to... I got some of these and one of these. Let's see if I have more of these, because uh, I'd like to at least demonstrate that. Oh, I will sell this pine cone. Why do I need a pine cone on me? I don't need a pine cone. Nothing else to sell. Pine cone. And this. And a mushroom. Now, I'm level 12. Uh, head in here. See if I can get any of these stub jaw... jaw portions. Only one? Well, that's not fair. I got five of them. Put this in there. This in there. And these. And then I might as well just put the fertilizer in here for now. I don't really want to use that yet. And this. Where is that? Oh, there we go. Okay. One thing I want to try to demonstrate is the next piece of equipment I make to sell. This. Level 15. With 9 def, 9 m def, 4% crit, and 0.1 crit damage. Now this one is the same. That takes pruny cores. Oh, I wonder if I actually have some pruny cores, but I think those are... These are actually worse headgears, at least for my usage, I think. Actually, no, that's, that's about the same. Not really any different. Huh. Just looks different. Maybe I can make this one for myself when I get to level 15. <laughs> this one is what I have right now. It's a level 10. So, I'll make this since it's the easiest. Or I, or this, either one. But I guess this has more def. Oh, okay. Er, yeah, chance to crit is better. But more def on... Why does this one have more def than this one? That's not fair. Oh well. Okay, well, now I did get a comment uh, saying to do the the crafting in a specific color order to try to get for bonuses. So let's check that out. Let me <laughs> watch me fail it. So orange, yellow, orange. Yup. No. 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 Yellow, blue, and green. There we go. Okay, let's check it out here. Did it get boosted at all? Hmm. Doesn't have any boosted stats, it doesn't look like. So I'm not sure. I don't know what it, what it does exactly. No stats or anything. Maybe it could just work for weapons, too. Maybe it doesn't work for armors. I don't know. It requires more testing. I'll do that later. And this, then... Here. Sells for... 2340. So, I'm gonna leave that in there. <laughs> Gets me more money. Gunther has, and Gunther's just on his way. Okay, well, I guess that fin that wraps up this episode. Uh, yeah, like I said, a little bit short, but, you know, not too bad. Oh, one, I guess one other thing I did want to demonstrate. I'm using my stamina for the day. Uh, cooking a bunch of meat. Because, you know, why not? 
I have a hot spring now, so I can cook a bunch of this. Let's see. I can use this at the Dreadclaw. So, yeah, I'll leave it at this. Did I, did I fail? I seriously failed something. I completely, I, I used 10 and that much stamina and I failed all of it? Oh, come on, no, no. Okay, I want to try that again. Just get my stand back up here. <laughs> so, if you fail it, it fails the whole stack. Nuts. I mean, I got plenty of meat. It's not really a big deal. It's just used all my stamina. It's like, wow. Okay, let's try it again. Cook 10 of them again. Come on, don't fail. Haha, good. I got it. Yes, 10 of them. There, I can use that for healing. And this, I should use to... Feed stuff. <laughs> Tame stuff. Okay, well, yeah. Uh, so, if you like this episode, hit that like button. Really appreciate it. It really helps me out a lot. If you haven't already, subscribe. And hit that bell icon. And leave a comment. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time.